Hey guys, so today I am taking you guys along with me as I clean my house and also add a few fall touches to my house. I added a few fall decor items as well as a few like Halloween decor items. I don't go too crazy during the fall time even though I would love to but it's just not quite in the budget to go too crazy with the fall decor but I thought I would show you guys kind of maybe a more realistic look into what your house House could look like if you just add a few things to make it look festive. But really quickly before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that this is a collab with my friend Katie here on YouTube. She is also a mom and she posts tons of cleaning videos like I do and she's just a really sweet person. She has a super cute house and she has actually already posted a fall clean and decorate with me video as you guys can see. So she will not be posting that in this collab, but you can go back and check out that video if you want to, but she will also be posting a cleaning video in our collab today so after you watch my video definitely go click the link in my description box and watch her cleaning video as well and subscribe to her channel and just give her some love so first of all I got these pumpkins all these pumpkins are new the light up pumpkins are from TJ Maxx and I love them I am going towards a more like lit up decor when it comes to my fall and Halloween stuff that is what I want to get in the years to come because I just think it's so beautiful and that is what I love about Christmas time is all of the lights and so I thought why not expand that into fall and Halloween so I'm starting off with that Oh, and before I forget, the little pumpkins that you guys saw, the velvet pumpkins, those were from the dollar spot at Target. Guys, that is a great spot. If you are on a budget, I would recommend the dollar spot at Target, the Dollar Tree, or Walmart to get some items that are really cute and really affordable. So now I am just doing some more cleaning, unloading the dishwasher, and um, cleaning off some of the dishes, but I wanted to let you know where everything is from. Oh, and I also had a Beanie Baby up there. We have a couple of Beanie Babies throughout our house. Um, we just think that's fun. My husband and I both collected Beanie Babies when we were kids, and so we like to display them sometimes. So that little ghost was actually a Beanie Baby, so that was free. Didn't have to buy that. But I think something that is really important when you're decorating your house is to first clean it. Because if your house is dirty and cluttered and just a mess, your decorations are just gonna add to that clutter and they're not going to look as nice. But if you have this really pristine, clean home that is smelling really good, you can light a fall candle or diffuse some essential oils, which I have just started getting into and I'm really excited about. I've been really enjoying my um, essential oils. <laughs> so anyway, if you have all that going on, your home will feel so inviting and really that could even be enough if you don't have the budget to buy some Halloween decor or fall decor. But if you do, then that just really adds to the feel of your home. And that is what I find is most important is like when someone walks into my home, what kind of vibe do they get? What feel do they get? Is it cozy? Is it warm and inviting? Does it smell good? Stuff like that. So one thing I think is important that some people kind of forget about is their appliances. Getting them really nice and clean. I love to use a stainless steel appliance cleaner and just really get our appliances nice and shiny. I try to clean out our microwave as much as possible and get that clean. Even inside your fridge. When someone comes to your home and they open your fridge to get a bottled water or whatever. We don't have bottled waters but you know what I mean. <laughs> to get something it's just nice for it to be clean. So anyway, now I am just changing up this little sign. You can change up whatever you want it to say. Just make it say, Happy Halloween. And then I added this decor already. I will be changing some things up in this video, but some things I already added. It's just not realistic for me to decorate my entire house in one day. And I want you guys to know that that is very unrealistic for most people. So I did start decorating this days in advance. And um, this a video I actually filmed a few days. So you will see me in different clothing towards the end of the video. But anyway, so I really like this little area I have here. Unfortunately, the music notes above the piano need to be moved to the right. Um, they're just totally off center, but I hate hanging things, so I just haven't bothered with it. But a lot of that stuff was either from TJ Maxx or a Beanie Baby, just really affordable things. So 
yes now I am just cleaning the baby's area because as I was adding decorations and thinking about adding something to this table behind our couch I thought I cannot add any decorations to this until I clean it because it's a mess the baby's like milk from his cups and everything was on there so I got that nice and clean and then I went to my couch and something that I love to do in the fall Halloween Christmas is change up the pillows on my couch that makes a huge statement so of course you have to first try to get your couch clean I vacuumed it a little bit it really needs to be like steam cleaned and stuff but I didn't get around to that but I did at least vacuum it then I added these orange pillows they actually have a little gold flex in them which is really pretty got those years ago but that pillow in the middle the thankful one I got from TJ Maxx and then the little pumpkin pillows I got from the dollar spot at Target those um, checkered pillows that I have that I decided to just put away for now because I didn't think they fit um, I actually got those from the dollar spot as well so that's really nice and our nest I think I got that from TJ Maxx last year as well as well as the blanket I love to have throw blankets around because people always get cold and it's just fun to cuddle up um, on the couch and watch a show and have a throw blanket around so and there's my little baby playing in the background if you see him and my big baby my German Shepherd Lily Woo! good buddy <laughs> dance Hello. bud Hello. Woo! Okay, now I am moving over to my like media console area. The TV is above this. And all I really added was this sign that says give thanks. I just thought the sign was so cute. I got that TJ Maxx as well as the glass pumpkin that you see on the right. Unfortunately, it does light up, but unfortunately, I cannot find the correct batteries for it. So that really bothers me because I know it's gonna be beautiful. It's huge and the lights inside, like I just know it's gonna look so good. So I'm still on the hunt. My husband's gonna help me find the right batteries. But now, this is the next day and we got out some of the Halloween or fall decor that I already have. So me and my boys are just looking through that. A lot of it is like outdoor decor, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do my front porch this year. I did it once like a couple of years ago when we lived in an apartment and it was really cute, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to get around to that this year. But if I do, I will show it to you guys. But um, I just went through our little bin that we have and tried to find a few things. I did find these little like potion holders and that actually is a witch beanie baby but I thought she looked too cartoonish so I decided to put her away. I didn't end up decorating with her. Those shelves are kind of like my frustration right now with decorating I just am not happy with them I originally put them up there so it could be like a reading nook but then I'm just not sure what books to put up there the bottom shelf just has the baby's books because he just throws them and gets into them and there's honestly no point even having something on that bottom shelf oh I added a little pumpkin that I got from Target last year over there the boys, we found one of Carter's fidget spinners in there, so they're playing with that. And there is like a little skeleton light that I have that I just didn't find a spot for quite yet. I'm sure I will, but I've had that for years. I'm surprised it still works. I have tons of like little pumpkins and things that Henry is playing with. He was actually trying to blow out that pumpkin that's lit up. Okay, now this spot I'm actually really happy with. This is almost all from the Dollar Tree, except the little house on the right, right there, is not from the Dollar Tree, but everything else is. I literally spent, guys, like $9 on all of that stuff, and I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. It's Especially the little light up pumpkins those were a dollar each I was so amazed so if you don't have a huge budget I would say go to the Dollar Tree I went when it was already really picked over so it's probably better to go like you know in the future maybe go a little bit earlier but you never know they may restock but they've actually added a ton of Christmas stuff already which I'm cool with Christmas oh by the way those little guys I got separately 
I wanted to make a wreath for this spot, but that would have cost a ton more money. So that up there, the little web and the little pumpkins actually only cost $2 because the pumpkins came in a pack for a dollar and then that web thing came for a dollar. So that was way cheaper than if I had made my own wreath. It probably would have cost me 10 plus dollars. My favorite thing that I got though is this little spider candle. I love that. I thought that was so cool. It had a face on it and I just like ripped that off and I thought it made it look a lot classier. Okay, so this spot I'm still not happy with guys. That's how it's turned out for now, but I really don't like it. But, you know, I have some time to work with it. I think I'm going to go to Walmart or something and hopefully it will get better, but that is my progress with my fall decor for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Great job, buddy. Great job, yay! Good job. You're such a good singer.